Welcome back to Squawk. The White House saying this weekend's unprecedented Iran, uh, Iranian attack in Israel was largely rebuffed by Israeli and uh, U.S. defenses. Richard Engel joins us now uh, with more this morning. Nice to see you, Richard. Uh, what a weekend. What a weekend. It certainly was, and we, we saw a lot of it right here in Jerusalem. Uh, I am just across from the old city. You can see the, some of the old city walls behind me. And around 2 o'clock uh, in the morning, early Sunday morning, uh, we, we saw the Israeli air defenses in action over this city uh, as the Iranian drones and missiles were approaching this country. But the attack was largely unsuccessful because of Israeli air defenses and because they had a lot of help. Uh, the United States was involved in a major way, shooting down dozens of the drones and missiles. Also France, the UK, Jordan. Uh, this operation was this international, quickly put together international coalition being led by CENTCOM Commander General uh, Eric Carrilla. Uh, so this was a quick, quickly organized defensive campaign on an international level that was successful, but it is not, it is not over yet. Uh, just because this last round uh, didn't start a major war, and by the way, had things turned out differently, had some of these ballistic missiles caused significant damage, significant numbers of casualties, I think it's very possible we would be in a uh, Iran-Israel uh, war right now with the United States involved. And uh, the Israeli security cabinet hasn't said at this stage that it's going to respond or not, keeping the cards uh, close to its chest, saying that only it will respond at a time and place of its choosing. Uh, right now, the U.S. and other governments are uh, urging restraint, calling for calm, calling for a de-escalation. But uh, there are still many, many uh, more possible flashpoints because the ongoing war in Gaza is continuing. The Israeli campaign against Rafah is still pending. So there are many more uh, moments that could cause flashpoints in the, in the right. coming uh, weeks and months. So it didn't have, we didn't have a major war this weekend, right. but I wouldn't count it out. Richard, real quick, um, what is the sentiment on the ground among the Israeli people uh, about uh, retaliation and what kind of pressure points do you see uh, on Netanyahu and this government? Uh, this you said very quickly. Unfortunately, it's not very quick because uh, the Israeli government, the Israeli people are, are very divided right now. There is a group uh, in Israel that loathes Prime Minister Netanyahu, thinks he is doing harm to Israel's security when it comes to. Uh, the, the Gaza. They believe that he's not handling the Gaza war correctly, that he's not doing enough to get the hostages out, that he's putting his own political survival first. And we're now seeing large demonstrations on the streets of Israel again, mostly around Tel Aviv, every Saturday night, the same way we saw them before the October 7th uh, attack. Then there is uh, the camp that, is, that supports Netanyahu and his coalition who want to do more. So uh, th this country is really, really divided right now with the anti-Netanyahu camp believing that he is using these national security issues in order to bolster his career and try and postpone any legal challenges that uh, or the major legal challenges that he's facing.